Thanks for purchasing your M Plus e-bike. We at M Plus Bikes highly recommend you take your e-bike to a bike shop for professional assembly. This video will give you an alternative and help make sure your bike is put together the right way, ensuring your riding experience is a safe one. Be sure to read through your quick start guide and owner's manual before assembling and operating your new e-bike. The tools you'll need are mostly supplied in the box. They include a 15 mm wrench and a four, five, and six mm hex key combo tool. You'll also need a Phillips head screwdriver. Now let's get started. When removing the bike from the box, be sure to grab it by the frame or the wheels. Don't grab it by the cables or wires. Make sure the bike is turned off before assembling. Remove the packaging carefully so as to not damage the bike. To install the stand, fold the stand up into the folded position, being careful not to pinch your fingers. Remove the two M5 screws already screwed into the stand. Move the stand into place behind its bracket and insert and tighten the screws. To install the front wheel, loosen the two wheel nuts until there is approximately a 15 millimeter gap on each side for the forks to slide into. Make sure you have removed the brake pad retainer from inside the caliper. Then, while standing over the bike, with your legs positioned on both sides of the bike, lift the bike up and slide the wheel into position. Take care to insert the brake rotor into the caliper smoothly, then tighten both axle nuts finger tight and make sure the washer is positioned on the outside of the fork. Fold the stand down and now the bike should stand by itself, which should make it easier for assembly. Now, finish tightening the front wheel nuts. Make sure you tighten them to specification and sufficiently so they will not become loose while riding. To install the handlebars, make sure the stem is facing forwards. You may need to loosen the stem clamps bolts to be able to rotate the stem. Now, remove the four 4mm hex bolts on the faceplate. Make sure the wires and cables are not twisted and put the handlebars into place. Put the stem faceplate back on and tighten down the four 4mm hex bolts. Later on, we'll show you how to make final adjustments to your bike. Now, to install the pedals, you'll see that there's an L for the pedal on the left and an R for the pedal on the right. It is important to get these on the right side because you do not want to cross thread your cranks. When installing the right pedal, you'll spin the threads clockwise to tighten. On the left side, you'll spin anti-clockwise to tighten. To install the seat, undo the cam lock and loosen the tightening screw. Place the seat onto the seat two and slide down into place. Align the seat with the frame, then tighten the cam screw, then tighten the cam lock, ensuring there is good resistance when tightening so that your seat will not move whilst riding. If your seat requires adjustment, remove it, loosen the six millimeter seat clamp bolt and remove the seat from the seat clamp. To have your seat sit flat with the ground, bottom out the adjustment screw, back it off two and a half turns, then reinstall the seat and tighten the clamp screw. Now that the bike is taken shape, stand over the bike to make the final adjustments to the handlebars. Once the handlebars are in a comfortable riding position, tighten the four four millimeter hex bolts in a cross hatch pattern. Also, make sure the gaps on the top and bottom of the faceplate are the same. Now, align your stem with the front wheel, tighten the stem cap bolt, and then tighten the stem clamp bolts. This is also now a good time to check your grips and brake levers are secure to the handlebars and that your gears shift smoothly. To install the front reflector, find the white reflector supplied in the box and secure it to the horizontal bracket with the Phillips head screw. Then install onto the handlebars using the clamp. To install the rear reflector, find the red reflector supplied in the box and secure it to the vertical bracket with a Phillips head screw. Then install onto the frame at the rear using the clamp and the clear plastic clamp spacer. To pump up the tires, remove the Presta tire cap and open the tire valve. The maximum recommended tire pressure is 85 PSI and it is recommended that you put at least 60 PSI of air into the tires. Spin your front wheel to check if the front brake rotor is rubbing against the caliper. If it is, you will need to adjust the caliper. To adjust the front disc and caliper, loosen the two 5mm caliper bolts, squeeze the front brake lever to pull the caliper into alignment, then re-tighten the 5mm caliper bolts. Now you can charge your e-bike for the first time. Your N Plus e-bike provides a combination of elegant and simple design with the benefits of chainless mid-drive technology, ensuring high performance and low maintenance riding for the most discerning e-bike rider. 
Thanks for watching.